Hey, man, you can't have two of those, dude. Um, one of those is mine. It says on the sign off sign that you're not allowed to have more than one, so. <laughs> In case you didn't notice, I just shot you with my laser gun. But I bet you did notice. Stupid. Attention all laser tag players. This session is now over. The next session will begin in 20 minutes. You know who likes lasers? Everyone, whether it be laser swords or laser guns or giant dinosaurs that shoot lasers out of their face, everybody likes lasers, and you want to put lasers in your video, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So to start out, get a minifigure who's holding a blaster or pistol or laser gun or dinosaur or whatever, and have them point towards a subject. Now typically that subject's going to be a person, because 90% of the time you're going to want to shoot a person with a laser. That feels weird saying that out loud, but... It's true. This gun I'm using here is a little bit more convenient because it has an area where you can just put the laser in. But if you want to use like the old timey guns that don't have that, I will also show you how to do that. But other than that, the process is the exact same. So you don't want to take an initial picture of your character just standing there holding whatever weapon that they're holding. And then you're going to want to take another picture with the laser actually attached to the gun. So making the laser fly is pretty simple and it's actually more of an optical illusion. Basically what you want to do is you have your laser attached to the gun and you're just going to want to move the laser to the other edge of the screen and your brain will just fill in the gaps. It'll see a laser came from whatever weapon dinosaur you're using and then it was on the other end of the screen so it must have traveled that distance and that's pretty much all you have to do. What I do is I build these little tiny stands just so it's more like stable. I wouldn't recommend holding the laser on the edge of the screen because it'll be shaky and it might not come out the way you want it to. So I would just recommend building a little tiny stand and having the laser held on that. If you're using the old timey like Star Wars, the classic guns, all you need to do is get an orange or blue stud that has an opening in the middle. And if you attach a blue or red laser and then you fill the inside of the stud with blue or red clay and attach that to the front of the gun, it works really well. And then of course you could do a little recoil and you could put the laser on the other end of the screen and it'll look like it flew across the screen. Now the fun part is of course shooting the person Again, that sounds weird to say, but again, it's true. So have the person being shot just stand there, then do the laser coming on the screen, and then the next picture should be the laser making contact with the actual person, and that's when they would react. So the, in the same picture that the laser is hitting the person, the person should react. If you do it where the person gets hit with the laser in one frame and they react in the next frame, it seems kind of artificial. It doesn't seem like it hit the person very hard. So I would just say, make sure that the person reacts in the same frame that they get hit with the laser. And what I always do is I take a stud and I put some clay inside of it and I stick that to the person wherever they just got shot. And it just gives the laser a little bit more force. It's a little bit of residue and it makes it seem like the laser really went through the person and impaled them. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. Hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you can now fulfill your wildest dreams of shooting lasers at other Lego people. If you wanna subscribe or like, you could, I guess, hypothetically. Also, if you wanna follow me over on Instagram, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I'm gonna be putting a poll on my Patreon soon for my next video. So if you wanna vote on that, I was thinking either Minecraft or Terminator but you can go over there and let me know what your thoughts are. Also, you can get early access to videos and you can get shout outs in my videos. I want to give a big shout out to my current patrons, Necratic, BH, Scotty, 121, Hawk Animation, and Rio's Creative Studio. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and helping me create more videos like this one. And that is the end.